Carbon credits are unlocking millions of dollars of private money to fund climate change solutions that are difficult to finance through other standard means. In Singapore, the International Emissions Trading Association and the World Bank are working together to further enhance transparency and environmental integrity of carbon credit transactions through a decentralized metadata platform built on blockchain technology. Measuring just 31 miles from east to west, small, low-lying Singapore is vulnerable to the world's changing weather. The city-state is serious about climate action and is making strides to become a regional hub for carbon markets, one of the ways to channel money toward the green transition. One of the initiatives to strengthen the integrity and trust in climate assets is a new metadata platform to track carbon credit data, spearheaded by the International Emissions Trading Association in collaboration with the World Bank. This new project is one that's going to hopefully help connect carbon markets around the world and assure that they operate with the highest integrity and highest efficiency and the highest security. And the way you do that is to harness some of the new digital technologies that are used in other financial services, utilizing things like blockchain, to help assure that credits can move from one jurisdiction to another quickly and uh, securely. The Climate Action Data Trust platform incubated by AITA is part of the World Bank's digital ecosystem called the Climate Warehouse. The infrastructure and blockchain technology facilitate a peer-to-peer -peer connection and communication across decentralized registries. The publicly available information system is already being rolled out and tested worldwide. The testing and the simulation activities provided a lot of value to participants where they can envision an interconnected ecosystem beyond their own standalone system and they can also validate the data granularity and the technical architecture. We did tests with 30 participating organizations including 11 national governments such as Switzerland, UK, Peru, Chile, Rwanda, Senegal, Japan, Singapore, and also with the five standard uh, agencies and observers such as UNFCCC and UNDP, who provided valuable feedback to finalize the prototype of the platform. The collation of data and the credibility it brings to the market comes at a cost. A cost that its developers see as one that's worth paying to achieve the enormous task of reaching net zero by 2050, as laid out in the Paris Agreement. So initially the government of Singapore and Google.org have provided seed funding to help get it started, uh, but ultimately we would uh, hope that it's supported by user fees for those that are actually involved in using the systems, uh, but that will come in time. For, for, for starters, we have to build up this registry, uh, uh, the specification, so that uh, every country will be able to develop their own registry system that can dock into this broader climate warehouse infrastructure. Like many other countries around the world, Singapore is one of the places that will benefit from the platform and will be crucial to achieving its carbon goals. We feel it's important to play our part and to bring different stakeholders, bring different countries, corporates together um, so, so that we can work together on solutions to address climate change. And, and it's an existential issue for us, it's an existential issue for the world, which we should pay attention to and which we should direct resources towards addressing. Singapore is a trailblazer within the region regarding carbon markets and environmental initiatives, but they realize it's a collective challenge that can't be achieved alone. We're rooted in helping achieve the goals of the Paris Climate Agreement, which is holding temperatures to no more than one and a half degrees um, and reaching a balance in sources and sinks of carbon emissions in the future. Carbon markets can help with that. We're developing this as a public-private initiative, not as a money-making thing, but really as a public good to help all the participants in the market. Navigating the path to net zero won't be easy, but clarity in the carbon market is a big step forward to achieving it.